What's up you guys, Brian Jimenez here from BrianMJimenez.com and today with another tutorial on how to create an animated header for your website using a lot of files. Um, this is a very simple to use tool. Um, some of them are free, some of them are paid. Really just depends on the lot of files that you can find and the ones that you are gonna basically match and fit best for your website. So today we're going to be creating an example using a yoga studio, right? And we're just going to create a header with an animation to the right and text to the left. And it's going to be very nicely designed, very modern and very sleek. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that I did was I actually went over and found the Lottie file that I wanted for myself. So shout out to Athul Raj T uh, for creating this Lottie file for free for anybody to use. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new page. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to make this... Uh, name this page uh, Yoga Studio and edit with Elementor. Now I forgot to select uh, my, the, the page that I wanted to do. Um, so just for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to change the page layout to Canvas. I'm going to make an Elementor Canvas. Sweet. Um, now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section, right? And this section I'm actually going to have it full width and this is because it fits with the design of you know the design that I'm going for um, and also my height I'm gonna have it uh, fit to screen now there's many theories regarding this it's all you know you always want to tailor your design to your uh, to your audience and to how you know your business runs or you know whatever you're building your website for. So not always is it going to be the best to have a full width and full height header or hero section. Um, it's all going to depend. So make sure that you tailor it to your specific needs. Now for this one, we're going to, we are going to be doing full width and full height. Now the first thing is I am going to go into the section, go over to the styles and I'm going to add a background. In this background, I have already pre-created it. Um, Basically, I used a uh, Canva for this one. It's a very easy to use tool. So essentially, I created this one and I'm gonna position this um, center right. Yeah, center right. The attachment, I'm gonna leave it as default. I'm gonna have a no repeat and the size, I'm actually gonna make it uh, cover. Yes. So now we have you know the background where we have a really cool design. And my, you know, my design is going to be blue and white and kind of like a, a, a kind of a orange-ish, reddish color. Um, but essentially, going back, uh, this is a, a white and blue background that's actually going to blend with the rest of the page. And this is very easy to use. Um, these are actually called blobs. So anyway, now going back to uh, the design here, I'm I, I'm going to add a new. Um, column right so i'm going to left click on the column section and i'm going to click add new so now i have two columns separate because what i want to do is i want to have the lottie file on my right and then the text and the call to action to my left so once i have this i'm going to go over to my widgets and i'm going to use uh, the html widget i'm going to drop it into the right column so now I have my code here that I can drop in for my Lottie file. So now I'm going to go back to my Lottie file and I'm going to scroll down to where it says uh, use this animation and I'm actually going to use the HTML version, right? I'm going to click over here and it's going to send me to a code builder. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to do, I'm going to do 600 on both. My animation speed and this is, you know, the you know the animation speed is how, in this occasion, is how fast she goes up and down. So I'm actually I want to make this slower. So I'm gonna do zero point five. 
yeah that's good 0 0.5 and then um, I'm gonna remove the controls I'm gonna make sure that it's auto playing and that it's looping right so it's basically looped player play mode normal direction forward and transparent yep that's perfect so as you can see the code for this lottery file was created right here so I'm just gonna click on copy code once it's copied I'm gonna go back to my elementor page and I'm gonna paste that right there sweet so now I have my lottery file basically running on on this loop uh, and that's pretty much it for this uh, specific animation I just want to have it there and kind of like give it a little bit of interaction to my site now the next thing is I'm gonna go back to uh, my widgets and I'm gonna add a heading over here and this heading uh, let me see I'm gonna write uh, find a balance between your mind body and spirit whoops spirit nice um and so this I'm um, actually gonna have my text I'm going back to the my to my column. I'm a, I'm actually gonna center this uh, vert or middle this vertically, and then going back here, I'm gonna go over to the style. And the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna you know, play with uh, font size, right? I'm gonna do uh, six. Let's do sixty. Is that a little too big? Yeah, no, that doesn't look good. Um, let's let me see. Um, let me first. I'm gonna do Montserrat. Oh, nice. I like that. Uh, Sixty looks good. And I'm assuming then I'm just gonna add a little bit of padding to. Yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of padding to this column right here. So. Let's go for a percentage on uh, left to five and five. Nope. No, let's do some more. Ten percent on both sides. There we go. I like that. Very nice. Um, and then I had already saved a color here for this. Let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna do a color, a diff, like a little darker color for this text. I'm gonna copy this right here. Nice. Find the balance between your mind, body, and spirit. This is very good. And the good thing is that if this text overlays right um, on top of this, this and like design, it still pops out. You can, it's still legible. You can still read it, which is you know something really good. Um, and then I'm going to have a call to action. So I'm going to go back to my widgets and my, I'm going to add a button. Okay. Why can't I add a button here? There we go. Okay. And then, so since this is a yoga studio, we're going to do, uh, view our sessions. Nice. Um, and I'm gonna add a an icon to this, right? Let's do this one right here. Give it some, and I'm gonna assign it to the right side of the button, and I'm gonna give it some space. Let's see, 15. Yeah, that looks good. Sweet. So now I'm gonna style this button, and again, I'm gonna do my Topography as Montserrat. Nice. And I'm going to give it uh, yeah. 20. Yeah, 20 looks good. View our sessions. Yep. Yeah. 20 looks good. Maybe uh, it's too for a. Oh, no, too bold. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, 
And then what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna have a, kind of like a pinkish color. So let me pull that color there from here. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna use this kind of pinkish color and this on the green background looks horrendous. So my background is actually gonna be transparent, nice. So then what I'm gonna do is on hover is when it's gonna fill. So I'm actually gonna have my color on hover, right? When you click on hover, text color is gonna be white and then my background is going to be pink nice so i have that pretty cool animation right there or hover you know hover animation and then i'm actually going to i want to make this uh button rounded right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to border radius and i'm going to give it a 20. perfect mm, let's do a little bit more let's do 25. now it's perfectly rounded there we go i like that Sweet, so that's pretty much it. And so then the last thing is to obviously link this uh, this button to whatever you want to send it. So if you want to send it to a section on the page or to another page, but basically um, now you have a pretty interactive type uh, hero section for your website where you can find a Lottie file that out of plays, out of loops when people load that page and it just gives it a little bit of life to your uh, website. So. So I'm going to be creating um, a lot of more of these tutorials just showing everything that I've learned with design and websites. So um, stay tuned for the next uh, tutorial.